Hello. In this video, we will look at WashFit Digital, a free tool to help you improve the quality of care in healthcare facilities by addressing issues in water, sanitation, and hygiene. WashFit Digital is the free and open access implementation of the risk based management approach developed by the World Health Organization and UNICEF and can help you achieve the minimum standards for maintaining a safe and clean environment. The core components when you do the analysis and the tool will be health facility assessments, which you can do periodically, for example every six months, as well as regular team meetings, which can be recorded digitally and then viewed in the same place, as well as risk assessments and improvement plans. On the right side here you see the framework for wash fit, which I'll just briefly run through. So point one is to assemble and train the wash fit team and critically hold regular meetings, conduct assessments of the facility, identify and prioritize areas for improvement on the basis of those assessments, which the digital tool will present for you, then develop and implement an improvement plan and then continuously evaluate and improve the plan, which includes maintaining the WashFit team, conducting assessments, and so on. So, what does this look like? Here is an example of some results. Once you've conducted assessments for your health facility, every assessment will show each indicator you've included and the assessment result by the date of the assessment, for example, whether that indicator meets the target, whether it partially meets the target or does not meet the target, and how that indicator has evolved over time. We'll look at this live in a moment. Another thing you can see is a list of risks and hazards and a mapping of risk versus difficulty, as well as the list of team members and results from meetings, so it really is intended to facilitate an ongoing process of improvement. So, how can you set up a WashFit project for free today? Go to washfit.org for the website relating to WashFit Digital, and the steps are really simple there. You can log in with your mWater account, or you can sign up for free. Then we create a new project if you're starting from scratch on the website side. Then using the WashFit app you can find an existing health facility site or create a new one and then start collecting data. Once your phone has synchronized with our secure server that data will show on your account in the project on washfit.org. Just be very clear to create the project first before using the app and it's worth noting that you can track more than one facility within one project, as we will see. So let's take a look at this live. I'm here on washfit.org. I see the homepage, let's cover it briefly. This is a good place to go to learn more about WashFit in general. There is the guide, the paper version developed by WHO and UNICEF. More information about the process, how to get the app, as well as training materials and slide format in English, French, and Russian. So I want to get started. I have a health facility and I want to improve its quality of care. I will log in. If I don't have an mWater login, I can sign up. I'll just log in with my demonstration account. And now I am logged in and I can go to my data. If I don't have any projects ready, there will be a process presented to me where I can create my project, this quick start wizard. It can be only for me or multiple users of the platform. Often the best approach is to have multiple users. If you have multiple users, you may want to use the organization or branch functionality within mWater, which you can learn more about using the video link in the description. And then you get a few options you can choose from. You can just allow default if you want to get started. Um, first, you set who will be completing the surveys. Do you want to make your assessment results public 
that means the results, not the underlying data necessarily, and then which indicators you want to assess. Is it everything or do you want to select um, what goes into the indicator assessment and what's out? Quite a few indicators. I'll just go with the default settings in this demonstration and click finish. It will set up the project for you, build out all the forms and deploy them to the people you've mentioned. And then we get to my project page, the one we've just created. Now we see that no healthcare facilities have yet been added and there's no data collected. But you do get instructions to get to the app, which you can get from Google Play, or go to app.washfit.org on any device. So let's go to the app. Let's make it look a bit more like an app. There we are. And log in. Great. Now, because I've set up the project, I'm not interested in my example project, the Bongor Health Center. Instead, it's the mWater Wash Group project that we just set up. And now I'm in my app and I'm part of the same project. Now I need to select a health facility. I can click the map tab and add a new health facility. So I click the map tab and there's two ways I can go. I can add a new facility if it hasn't been mapped in mWater before, or I can select an existing one from the list available. We can pick anyone for our example. Let's take my local hospital, for example. Now I've selected it, and it's also managed by the mWater wash group. I could alternatively create a new one, um, as long as there's only one site corresponding to a facility in the real world. Now I can start collecting data. So there are three, four options I can collect. Team list, team meeting records, indicator assessments, and the risk assessment or improvement plan. Of course, we want to have a team list, and data entry is very simple. I select the option, I get a bit of guidance, I fill in the data, who are the team members, so on, and then I can submit. And the same process applies for all of the elements. The indicator assessment is quite long, so I'm not going to fill it in here, but these are all forms that you can fill in, fill in the data, and then submit and synchronize with the server so the data will be in the cloud. So let's imagine I've created a team. Um, and we've gone around the health facility, we've done an indicator assessment and some risk assessments. What does that mean? Well, we can look at the results now in the example view, which we would also see in my data. So we see the indicator table now live. All the indicators I would have collected data for will show values, and as well as notes if I've added any. So you can really zoom in and see, okay, is the exterior of the facility fenced and clean? It has been clean for both of the visits that we've done, and so on. You can keep doing these assessments at any intervals. The recommendation is every six months. Team list shows the people part of the team. Team meetings logs the history of regular team meetings. And the hazards show a list of what's been logged as risks. So you can manage them and you can create plans to address and remedy these risks. Just to note, it's also possible to add facilities to a project. The process for that is to go to the app, log in with your account, choose the project you want to add the facility to. So first you log in into a certain project, and then you find or add a health facility site, as we saw, and start collecting data. All the data you collect will be available to you at washfit.org. And that's it for a quick overview of WashFit. You can connect with us just emailing at info at mwater.co or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and this YouTube channel. If anything's unclear or you want more help, guidance, conversation, please get in touch. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.